Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Kim, and welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight I am here with uh, Tatsu, my, my sweet little kitty, and um, <laughs> she keeps getting on the table, so she's going to join us tonight. Um, I have a couple things. I have a haul for Michaels. I just decided to venture out this evening and uh, see what I could find and, and ended up with quite a few things. So I thought I would share that with you, and today is the announcement for the Halloween goodie bag. Actually, it's a goodie box. It's quite large. Um, and so I have that drawing that I will do at the end. Um, first, I will start with what I found at Michael's. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I got some tools. Um, just, here's some needle, what are these? I forget what these are called. Rolling nose pliers. And these are cutters. And then I have the other pliers, so. I bought a bunch of charms, so I wanted to make sure I had the proper tools to add these. And I thought these were just so pretty these crystals um, for on some vintage journals. I think that'd be really, really pretty. And these charms here, these little dangles, a bunch of different ones with crystals and stones and, and stuff. And these are quite blingy. These were, I think they were on sale. Excuse Tatsu. <laughs> And these, I've, I've bought this before. Um, these are little charms for sewing, and I just love it. It's got the mannequin and a tape measure, and the scissors, um, a spool of thread and a button. So I really liked them, so um, they had one left and I grabbed that. And also vintagey and for sewing. These aren't, isn't that just adorable? A pair of scissors, and then off of it, it's like a little spool of thread and a flower. This is a little um, ruler and a flower. Fell in love with that, I really liked that. And this is some more sewing. Um, these are scissors and a pin, a button, this is like a crochet needle. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and bring it up closer so you can see that. And then this here, the little spool of thread with the danglies. And they're all by that brand, um, Pemberley. It seems to be all the sewing ones. Yeah, these here. These are all Pemberley. Uh, let's see, I think that's all for the charms. I bought, it's just kind of random, so I'll just go through my bag. And I have to confess, I saw some more Halloween things. And I don't know, I think it's a sickness. <laughs> I, think I, I think I have a problem, because I keep buying more. And I'm all done with Halloween. But... They were on sale, 40% off. So, let me find them. And it was Tim Holtz. They're cling foam stamps. And uh, I, I'm just going to have to make another Halloween journal. That's all there is to it. I have all these new Halloween things and too much that I can't uh, can't not use them. I'm trying to open this without hurting myself. So there, there's the stamps. You can see them better. The web and the cat. I like that they're spongy. Um, the dripping, the witch's hat. It's got a nice variety. It's really cute. So yeah, that was 40% off. I 
and get this closed again. And Sizzix. Now I didn't see these last time I was there, obviously, or I would have grabbed them. Um, this is like an embossing folder of the web, which I thought was really cool. And then the thinlets for the cat and the hat and the moon. So I'm definitely going to have to make something crafty and take advantage of these new, new items. And that was 40% off. Uh, let's see, I got, <laughs> this is funny, I can't believe I got more Halloween. Um, these were 40% off as well, Recollections, and I don't know why I got this, because there's a cat and a witch's hat, there's a witch's hat and a cat in the Tim Holtz, and there's a witch, witch's hat and a cat in this one too. So. I'm thinking that one of these I'm going to add to the giveaway because I really don't need three. This is cute because it has the cauldron and the little web. So I don't know. Which one should I put in the giveaway? Leave it in the comments. Should I do the recollections die cut? The Sizzix die cut? Or the Tim Holtz cling foam, st foam stamps. So one of those I'll add to the, the giveaway. So in the comments, give me your vote. Let me know what you think. And here's another Halloween stamp, clear stamps and stencil set. This one has a stencil set, which is really cute. Um, eat, drink, and be scary. I like the owl and the... Uh, it's got... I don't know if you can really see. There, it's the tombstones and then the house. So those were cute. And these recollections was Rest in Peace and it has the skeleton. It's got the die cut to go with the, with the stamps, which I thought was really cute. A rat. That's kind of neat. I might have to have two giveaways. Um, now I'm going through all this and I just can't get over how, how much Halloween stuff I have. And another one, Recollections. These I really like too. And this again has a house, the rest in peace. I really liked the pumpkin. I thought the pumpkin was really cool. Um, if you dare. These stamps are really cute. Yeah, let me know what your favorite stamps are. And um, maybe we will do another Halloween giveaway. Uh, Recollections had these, and I'm looking for things for fall, autumn, Thanksgiving, and I thought these were perfect. And they were just, you know, 40% off the $249. That was a good, good deal. I got these little hologram recollection stickers. And these I thought were nice for autumn with the pumpkin and the gold and the orange and the leaves. I got these crows because I'm looking for anything that has black crows. If you know anywhere, you see anything, um, let me know, please, in the comments. I'm doing a, making a journal, a custom journal, and the theme is crows. So. Um, I'm looking everywhere for crow stuff, and I'm thinking Halloween is the time to, you know, that they'll be out. So I was able to find that. So that was a good, a good find. And these recollection hologram, I liked them because these these were gold, and uh, those are pretty cool. So let's see, these were in the two dollar bin, and I liked this for fall with the maple leaf on there for journals. There's four sets of the envelopes and the, the card. This was also in the $2 bin 
and these these are really cool. Um, they're tags, and I guess it's I guess it's a paper. It almost looks plastic. They're really. I guess I wish they were more gold, but you know I still like them. They're still unique. Anything that is unique and stands out kind of grabs my attention. So those were two dollars. Oh goodness, another Halloween. <laughs> now I got this one because I need the crow. Um, don't so much need the rest. Um, the resin, made out of resin. And I think there's like a sticky back to it. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Those were 40% off. I got, let's see if I can find some more Halloween. I grabbed this stamp with the little ghosts. I thought that was sweet. And those, that was a dollar. And this boo, Luke, <laughs> reminds me of my friend Luke, uh, boo is a cute stamp. There's one more stamp and I really liked this one. They're like pumpkins and spider webs dangling. I thought that was really cute with little bats. And so those were just a dollar. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any more Halloween. Wait, there is. There's one more. And I got this for a giveaway. I couldn't resist. Um, these ribbons were 40% off. They got the pumpkins, the cats, the spider webs, um, just a little black and orange, and then the bats, which I thought was really, really cute. I bought a few Tim Holtz items. Um, well, first, here's this Recollections. This is really different. Um, they're metal, but my thinking was that they would be really pretty on a journal. Like these as corners, book corners, you know, the, yeah, book corners. <laughs> um, and just being black, I didn't know if that might go with my crow theme too for that journal I'm doing. So that might work for that. Uh, this Tim Holtz was on sale uh, on the Markdowns for $4.99, and uh, they're just the swivel clasps um, that are nice to have for the journals, for the little charms on the outside of the book. Um, I spotted this Tim Holtz. They're just lace trimmings, and I hadn't seen them before. And I like that they're all different sizes. So um, that wasn't on sale, but I thought I would give that a try. And this here, I really liked the trim. Um, it just caught my eye, no rhyme or reason. Um, just for some vintage journals. I like that there was a variety of different textures. So I got that. There's five of them. Let's see. I got a couple Tim Holtz um, washi tape and I spotted this one in a different aisle. It wasn't with the Tim Holtz. It was just with washi tape. And uh, I just recently bought a pad of his paper, and this happens to be a match to it. It's got the tickets and the clocks. Squares. 
squares of Coney Island. It's just got some verbiage. This is like a tape measure. Uh, let's see. These are numbers. I don't know if you can see that. I hope I'm holding these okay for you. Bottle caps. I just like all the different colors. There's a tape measure. And some glitter. Let's see. And this one here has butterflies. And I love I love butterflies. So there's that one. And these are just this just looks like advertisements. This is some script and music notes. Letters and numbers. It's just a, a pattern of some sort. More butterflies and moth, it looks like. That's kind of checkery. And another sparkly. I totally did not need those, but that's what happens when you get bored on a Friday night and you go to Michael's. <laughs> Uh, these were in the sale bin, and, um, oh, you know what? I think these are just in my bag from the other day. <laughs> Never mind. These are from Tuesday morning. They just happened to be in, this, uh, in the kitchen with this other bag. Anyway, they were $8.97, and I got them for $1.99, and they're three packs of bling. And for fall, the ribbon was on sale half off, and I really liked the plaid, and I love the, the leaves, the maple leaves. Um, let's see, I got just some extra, this goes with my tools, um, some eye pins and some jump rings. And this was on clearance, um, this Christmas. It's a die cut. These are die cuts. The truck, the tree, and the, the presents. And then it's got the stamps. And I think it was on clearance for $6. Yeah, I think it was $6. And of course, while I was over with the stamps, I spotted some other ones that I hadn't seen before, and I loved the mushrooms. And I thought, kind of for fall, um, this is like a squirrel. I'm thinking this is a squirrel. What's new? What's up? There's no one like you. And there's mushrooms and flowers. I think this is a porcupine or a hedgehog, not sure. A little girl angel and a ladybug. I just thought those were sweet. And then this Tim Holtz. Um, really loved the bird and the flowers here. It says, in dreams we catch glimpses of life larger than our own. And then this one has, imagination is more important than knowledge. For while knowledge defines us we currently know and understand imagination leads us to all we might yet discover and create which I thought was appropriate for crafting for us artists of sorts um, so that was that was nice that I saw that and I just bought this ephemera at uh, their book pages and I think I've bought this one before. It's by um, Artsy. There's 33 pieces in this one. And um, yeah, it's the designer and it's got ladies hats and um, 
some plants and dictionary pages and music pages. So it's just nice ephemera. Okay, and almost done. I'm doing, in the near future, I'm doing a uh, journal that will be uh, with recipes and cooking and whatnot. So I saw these Spellbinder die cuts with the blender or mixer and the bowl and that I thought that was really sweet. And this here I thought was nice for fall. Um, it's got two leaves. What does it say on here? Well, actually it's four leaves. Yeah. Different ones. And I love the maple leaf, so. So, that is my Michael's Random Haul for Friday night. I thought it was actually much smaller. Now that I have it all out and I've shown you, it's actually quite large. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let me just clear this and then I will do the announcement for the giveaway. I'm going to need to buy a storage unit to put all my, <laughs> my Halloween stuff in. Okay. Here is the box of goodies. It is a pretty big box. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty deep. Pretty big box of goodies. And there were six people that happened to leave comments um, acknowledging the giveaway. And it was during a haul that was for Hobby Bobby Christmas goodies. It was a pre-holiday Hobby Lobby Christmas goodie haul, and uh, I had six people, and I gave lots and lots of hints for more and more people to, uh, to you know, put their name in a comment and and put their you know their name in for a chance to win the giveaway. Um, so that's why I've decided I think I'm going to do another giveaway, but. For now, let's um, keep on track. Um, the winner is, and I, I have everyone here um, on little pieces of paper with their name and a number, and I drew Cindy Barnes. I don't know if you can see that. So congratulations, Cindy Barnes. You are the winner of the Halloween goodies box. And I'll give you a little a little peek at what's in the box. Got some little bats here. I won't go through and announce everything because it's a really big goodie box. But I have some Martha Stewart uh, die cuts with haunted houses. Uh, some white cheesecloth, some tulle, some fabric, Halloween fabric, some uh, little pins with bats, a little goodie bag here. I put little goodie bags together. These are in here with little uh, pumpkin bells and ephemera. Uh, some web. These are Spiderweb joy leaves, some tags, Halloween tags. Now we got a lot here. These little kitty buttons, this applique that says boo, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, let's see. Some bats, some ephemera. I put some goodie bags in here. Stickers, stamps, lots of stickers, more stickers, 
more stickers, buttons. Yeah, there's lots in here. More little button stickers, some ribbon. Um, this is one of my favorite things, and it's on all my Halloween journals. Um, these charms. It's a. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's silver jewelry charm, and it's a skeleton in her costume, a little doll. So I had one of extra of those. Some napkin, Halloween napkins if you're into decoupage. Here's some goodie bags. This is just a bag of ephemera, a bag of Halloween buttons, uh, some bling. It's like Christmas, I tell you. Some tool. And if you can see in here, it's just a bunch of washi tape. A bunch of Halloween washi tape. Some more bats. So yeah, uh, this is one of my goodie bags for the Halloween goodie bag giveaway. And Cindy Barnes, you're the winner. And just get in touch with me. Leave me a message um, on Twitter or on YouTube. Email me. Um, and just let me know your information, and I will send you out your goodie bag. So happy Halloween early, and thanks for watching everyone. Uh, before I go, I will um, just put out there that I think I'm going to do another Halloween giveaway. Um, I wouldn't normally, but I have an abundant amount of goodies to share. Um, with fellow crafters and um, would love to see what you're making with you know with the goodies so um, leave a comment let me know you're interested in the giveaway and um, I say let's see we'll give it a week and maybe next Friday I'll announce a winner we'll do it that way I just at a whim at random thought that up <laughs> So, um, and if anyone wants to do um, a swap or anything like that, just leave me a message and let me know. I'd be happy to do one. Um, I would love to. I have lots of things to share and um, we'd just love to get to know y'all better. So thanks for watching and take care. Be safe.